In 2026, the world is finally starting to tire of the same old cell phones. For more than a decade, tech giants seem to be merely repeating worn-out formulas, as if simply changing the model number and raising the price was enough to keep the wheel turning. Apple, for example, saw its sales plummet with the iPhone 17. No one was excited anymore by a recycled design and improvements so subtle they're barely noticeable. And what about the iPhone Air? It arrived full of promises and disappeared faster than it arrived. The once loyal public now seems more attentive and, above all, more suspicious. It's curious to think that a brand that once dictated the pace of innovation now finds itself forced to change its own habits. Pressed by meager results and bolder competition, Apple has decided to launch iPhones twice a year from now on. But look at the irony. Even this decision comes as a disguised apology. Tim Cook even blamed the team's tight schedule, as if that were something new in Cupertino. In reality, the problem runs deeper. People simply don't want to pay a lot for a phone that does the same thing over and over again. In 2026, the price of an entry-level iPhone hit $2,000. And you know what's even scarier? People are still buying them, but not out of excitement, but rather out of attachment to the ecosystem. It's as if they're trapped inside, surrounded by apps and habits that have become a comfortable prison. Apple no longer sells innovation. It sells routine. And, little by little, even the most fanatical are beginning to realize they're being fooled. Meanwhile, Samsung is also floundering. It continues to bet on camera improvements that, let's face it, only make a difference when compared to YouTubers. Nobody believes in this megapixel gimmick anymore. Foldable screens? Cool on paper. But practice has shown that they are fragile, expensive, and not that useful. Consumers are starting to feel that these companies are more interested in squeezing their wallets than delivering something truly new. But what changed in 2026 for this penny to finally drop? The answer lies in a feeling that slowly spread. Saturation. After so many years buying cell phones with big new features that didn't change anything in everyday life, people stopped. They started comparing prices, questioning functions, paying attention to durability, and, above all, looking for alternatives outside the same old click. And that's where things start to get interesting. The numbers don't lie. The iPhone 17 was such a flop that even production was hastily reduced. Apple, accustomed to kilometer-long lines at launches, saw its stock pile up. And it's no use saying it's the market's fault, the pandemics, or the alignment of the planets. The truth is, the magic is gone. That wow effect that enchanted the whole world was swallowed up by repetition. And deep down, perhaps this crisis is the best thing that could have happened. Because it's precisely when giants start to stumble that openings for a new technological revolution emerge. When the public no longer believes in the same old tricks, it makes room for something truly daring. And in 2026, it seems that someone has finally decided to occupy that space with determination. And it is precisely in this vacuum of innovation that Elon Musk decides to burst in with both feet. In January 2026, the world will turn its attention to the launch of the Tesla Pi phone, a name that until a few months ago sounded like the ravings of a tech forum. But now it's real and bolder than anyone could have imagined. It's not just another smartphone with empty promises. The Pi phone arrives as a slap in the face to the market, challenging the standards that everyone accepted as normal. And look, when Musk says he's going to shake up an industry, it's good to pay attention. The first bombshell comes in the price, 780 Nylers. That's right, in a market where basic models exceed $2,000, Tesla is offering a price that seems almost a joke. But it's not just cheap, it's disruptive. The package includes nothing less than free lifetime internet via Starlink. No monthly plans, no operator contracts, or packages that double in price overnight. Tesla's proposition is clear. 
Buy the phone once and never worry about internet bills again. That changes everything. That detail alone puts the Pi phone on another level. But Musk didn't stop there. He aimed directly at the heart of the problem, dependency. While Apple and Google tie the user to closed systems, Tesla's new device is born with an audacious goal to break the iOS-Android duopoly. And how? By creating its own system, free from tracking, without ads, and with artificial intelligence that truly serves the user, not the advertisers. A phone that respects your privacy sounds strange in 2026, but it seems that, finally, someone decided to do things differently. The tone of the presentation was provocative. Musk didn't hide his criticism of the current state of mobile technology, calling the industry lazy and greedy. And he's not wrong. Every year, cell phones have become more fragile, more expensive, and more similar. The Pi phone appears as a symbol of rebellion, a phone made for those tired of being held hostage by the same old tricks. And the most curious thing? It's precisely this audacity that's sparking interest even among the most skeptical. Many said Musk was going too far, that no one could compete with Apple's ecosystem. But who said he wants to compete? Tesla's strategy isn't about fighting for crumbs, it's about changing the game. The Pi phone doesn't try to imitate anyone. It brings a completely different value proposition, centered on freedom, integration, and real innovation. And that, let's face it, is something the market hasn't seen in a long time. Another detail that stands out is the timing. Launching the Pi phone right after the iPhone 17's demise wasn't a coincidence. It was calculated. Elon knew the public was angry, frustrated, and open to something new. He exploited this opportunity with surgical precision. And the result is that, just a few months before the official launch, some people are already selling their used iPhones to save money for the Tesla phone. Of course, doubts remain. Will the public really abandon the old systems? Will the app's support be sufficient? Elon Musk knows the transition won't be easy, but he's betting on the appeal of something bigger. A smartphone that's not just a product, but a passport to a new Tesla ecosystem, where everything communicates with each other, from the energy in your home to the car in your garage. With the market yawning at repetitive releases, the Tesla Pi phone raises the bar for hardware with a package that looks like it came straight from a futuristic laboratory. Starting with the body, no fragile glass or easily scratched aluminum. What we have here is aerospace titanium, coated with a nano-healing layer that simply repairs small scratches on its own. Seriously, you scratch it with your car key, and after a few hours the phone looks brand new. It's the kind of detail that makes anyone think twice before continuing to pay dearly for devices that are too fragile to take out of their pocket without a case. The robust construction of the Pi phone isn't just about aesthetics. It solves an old problem that nobody wanted to confront, true durability. While competitors prioritize the fragile beauty of the ultra-thin, Tesla chose to prioritize the device's real lifespan. And the curious thing is that it remains beautiful. A sober design, smooth curves, a matte back that doesn't show fingerprints, and best of all, cameras that don't protrude like a giant bump in the middle of the back. In short, a phone that sits comfortably on a table without wobbling. But the engineering feat doesn't stop there. The Pi phone's battery is also a show in itself. No conventional lithium here. Tesla bet big on a 6,712-meter-mache aluminum-ion battery, and the tests are mind-blowing, up to seven days of moderate use, or 56 hours of continuous streaming. All this with just 30 minutes of charging. And don't think this comes at the expense of battery health. Tesla made sure to balance speed and longevity, avoiding those turbocharged charges that seem magical but destroy the battery in a year. It's curious how, for so long, we accepted batteries that barely lasted a day. It was as if it were normal to live at the mercy of the power outlet. Tesla looked at that and said, enough. 
And more than that, it showed that it's possible to do things differently with real technology, not just marketing. For those who have ever found themselves deleting apps to save battery or taking a charger even to the bathroom, this kind of autonomy sounds almost like a psychological relief. The device's ergonomics are also noteworthy. It was designed to fit naturally in the hand. It seems like a small detail, but it makes all the difference in daily use. The matte back is smooth yet firm. The buttons are tactile with a soft click. The weight is evenly distributed. And most interestingly, even with all this robustness, the device isn't bulky. It's far from that militarized phone look that other models have unsuccessfully attempted. And there's more. Unlike other foldable phones that rely on empty promises, the Tesla Pi phone delivers real durability, and that without sacrificing portability. When closed, it's only 0.31 inches thick. When open, it becomes a small tablet with an 8-inch screen that occupies almost the entire front without visible creases. The hinge, called Flex Hinge, can withstand 300,000 folds, which is enough to open the phone 80 times a day for 10 years, without jamming, without parts falling apart. While the competition gets lost in megapixel wars and gigantic sensors that look more like insect eyes, Tesla decided to go against the grain with a much smarter approach. Instead of inflating numbers just to impress with specs, it focused on the real quality of the image. The Tesla Pi phone comes equipped with 548 MP lenses, yes, but what really makes the difference is what's behind those lenses. A native artificial intelligence system developed from the technology of Tesla's own self-driving cars. This is no exaggeration. It's the same visual processing base that makes a vehicle drive itself, now adapted to capture the best photo of your life. The magic begins the moment you open the camera. The Pi Phone's AI identifies the scene, adjusts the lighting, corrects shadows, removes unwanted objects in real time, and guarantees a professional-looking result, and all this without needing any editing afterwards. The phone practically sees what you want to capture and delivers the best possible version of it, as if it were a photographer who understands your taste. And the best part, it even works in low-light environments. There's no ugly graininess or artificial tones, the image comes out clean, natural, and with an impressive level of detail. Another noteworthy feature is the 10x optical zoom. It's not blurry digital zoom, it's real zoom with definition. You can photograph a license plate half a block away and still read it clearly. It's a feature that's incredibly useful for those who travel, work with images, or simply like to capture moments from afar and the fluidity with which it happens is incredible. No stuttering when zooming or lag in processing. It's all instantaneous. But the biggest difference here isn't just the camera itself. It's the integration with the XOS operating system developed exclusively by Tesla. This Linux-based system was completely rewritten from scratch. And here's the shock. It doesn't depend on the cloud to function. This means that all your photos videos, preferences, and AI learnings stay on the device itself. They aren't sent to distant servers, analyzed by advertising algorithms, or used as bargaining chips in marketing campaigns. This level of native privacy is unprecedented in the market. No other phone offers such advanced AI that works 100% locally. This not only protects your data, but also increases response speed. After all, nothing needs to be sent and processed externally. The Pi phone learns from your usage, adapts to your style, and improves over time without external interference. And in a world where the word privacy has become a joke, this sounds almost like an act of resistance. Another detail that reinforces this proposition of freedom is the total absence of ads, trackers, and bloatware. The XOS comes clean, straight to the point, without those dozens of apps you never asked for, but which come pre-installed and can't always be removed. The experience here is truly personalized, and the device responds only to its owner, not to sponsors or app manufacturers. 
It's a phone that seems to listen to you, not the market. And to handle all this embedded intelligence, the Pi phone is equipped with the X23 chip, a monster with eight CPU cores and eight GPU cores built on a two nanometer process. This means it's capable of running 8K games, augmented reality streaming, and heavy AI tasks all at the same time and without stuttering. That's more power than most laptops carry today. And all this in a device that fits in your pocket. If there was one thing that seemed like science fiction until recently, it was the idea of using a cell phone anywhere in the world without depending on carriers, towers, or Wi-Fi. But in 2026, Tesla turned that fiction into reality. The Pi phone comes with integrated antennas for direct communication with Starlink satellites, which means literally global coverage. Mountains, deserts, jungles, or cities. If you can see the sky, you're connected. And the most shocking thing about all this? It's free, forever. No contracts, no monthly plans, no hidden fees. You buy the phone and never pay for internet again. It's hard to even imagine the impact of this. While Apple still only offers 5 gigabit of free storage and charges monthly fees, even to upload a photo, Tesla has basically eliminated internet costs from your life. In a country like the United States, where families spend over $1,000 a year on mobile data and Wi-Fi alone, the Pi phone represents an absurd saving. In three years, the cost difference between it and an iPhone 18-fold can reach $6,000, not counting roaming, additional data plans, and activation fees. But this next-level connectivity didn't come alone. The Tesla Pi phone also solved a problem that plagues all foldable phones, the dreaded crease line in the middle of the screen. Even the most expensive models from Samsung and Huawei couldn't quite fix it, but Tesla didn't follow the same path. It created the Flex Hinge, a multi-rail hinge that ensures the 8-inch AMOLED 2X screen opens smoothly, without creases or wrinkles, as if it were a single solid piece. And the most surprising thing, it can withstand more than 300,000 folds. That's almost 80 openings per day for 10 years. This level of robustness brings a new level of comfort to everyday use. You can open and close it without fear, like opening a favorite book. And when open, the device becomes practically a portable tablet, perfect for watching movies, playing games, editing documents, or making video calls with the comfort of a large screen. And all this with a thickness of only 0.31 inches when closed, much thinner and lighter than any current competitor. The SL chip, developed specifically to optimize this connection with satellites, guarantees latencies of 20 to 30 milliseconds and speeds above 300 Mbps, even in remote areas. In other words, you can watch 4K content, play online games, or make calls with plenty of stability, without depending on a tower, Wi-Fi, or carrier. And this kind of freedom, especially for those who travel a lot or live in poorly served regions, is simply revolutionary. It's funny how, for so long, we accepted areas without signal as something inevitable. That phrase, no signal here, became part of the modern vocabulary. But now, with the Pi phone, that could become a thing of the past. In 2026, it's no longer acceptable to pay a lot for bad internet. And it seems that Tesla is really willing to kill this old business model that profits from the limitations of others. The Pi phone's proposition isn't just to impress with specifications. 